first person that inspired me to play trombone was Uncle Jerry, who we all know. He's just a few years older than me. He's my mom's younger brother. When I was probably fourth grade, my grandmother took me to hear him play in a New Orleans jazz band. And it, it stuck with me, and I, I always look at him up there with, you know, playing music and people were clapping and dancing. It totally inspired me to want to be a musician. My, uh, my older brothers, both of my older brothers played uh, instruments in the school band. And seeing them do that instead of, uh, you know, instead of sports, it was, it was very inspiring to see my brothers take up an instrument and do that. And they were bringing music into the house that I had never really heard before. So when it came time for me to get into, what was it, fourth grade at the time, they're like, okay, what instrument are you going to pick, you know? So it was, it was exciting. It was an exciting time. They're like, they had it all figured out. They're like, man, there's going to be a bunch of trumpet players. There's going to be a bunch of drummers. You know, you probably want to play the trombone because you'll be first chair like right away. I started late. I didn't start really playing guitar till my senior year of high school. But when I did pick it up, I wanted to play, and I picked it up quick. I was in a band in a year, and and um, you know, and I just I had listened to a lot of music before. I always listened to music, and I remember thinking, you know, I think I could do that. I figure out what I was going to do in college. I figured I'd you know follow my bliss and uh, study music, and I went came up to Boston Berklee College of Music, and um, and that was great. Berkeley, it was like, yeah, you had, you know, people that are playing in clubs and stuff and uh, recorded artists come in there. And that was real inspiring to, you know, actually see those people right up close and, and get the music like right off the stage. And uh, yeah, it was inspiring. Yeah, I grew up, also growing up in California, we had a, a, a lot of uh, people come to our schools from elementary school on all the way up through high school. And I was really fortunate uh, to have that because right behind me, all the arts funding was getting cut. You know, I've been I've been playing at the schools, hospitals, like since I was a kid, like really, really like maybe seven years old. You know. But you had to play the saxophone, and you hated it. I hated it. And what made you find <laughs> the bass and like it? Because it wasn't the saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest uh, reason I started playing music in the first place was with my grandma. She was a singer. I think it was just in my blood to do. And uh, as far as the trombone becoming my instrument, it was my uh, seventh grade band teacher. I played the saxophone and I played the trombone. And I, I, I was playing the trombone part of the time and I was playing the saxophone another part of the time. And finally he said, you know, I think I'd like to switch you. To trombone, you know, you'll get to be first chair. Um, but whenever we do school stuff, clinics, and go to schools and visit young musicians, it all brings back to square one for us because we see ourselves in, in, in those kids. Uh, and it's really, really inspiring to, to try to share what we're doing as professionals back to uh, a place where we could see where we got our start. Mm -hmm.